What's up, dude? Sorry. Today we're going to have a look at this pen. The Oto Dude. It was sent to me by a very kind viewer. As always, I appreciate that. Uh, and I am quite excited about this pen. I'm particularly excited because I know that a lot of you out there love Oto. It's a Japanese brand. Nice pens and very affordable pens. I have reviewed a couple in the past. The Tasha was one, there have been others. But this is the Dude. And the Dude. Okay, uh, sorry. The Dude is a very neat pen. It looks like aluminum or aluminium if you prefer. But according to uh, jet pens, it's brass and they've added something to it and it's, it's colored. Uh, which which is definitely uh, uh, nice. So, I know this came in box, probably nothing too fancy, uh, but here you have the pen. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Top of the pen, finial, nothing. Nice, reflective dome. The Oto Dude, it says there, Oto Dude, made in Japan, clip. barrel. It's a rather simple model and in a way I really like it. At the bottom there another reflective dome. Uh, the clip, for those of you who like that sort of thing, it's very nice and springy but connected well there. So it does work. What I'm trying to say is it's a bit loose there and very tight as you get towards the end so there's not a lot of give. The pen is fasted six sides and then it tapers out and then it becomes round again. I like the way they made this center. You have the facets and in the center you have the tiny little band where things come together. I think it's cute. Cap pops off and very securely in place. It rotates a little bit. I'll come back to that in a second. The section is one of the more interesting section shapes I have seen. It sort of, it's well, I guess slightly hourglass shaped but then it tapers down there and then you have a little straight or well, short cylindrical thing. And then you have a little, notice the professional terminology there, a cylindrical shaped thing. And then you have a nib, uh, the nib, very simple, plastic feed. This is a simple nib, it says Iridium Point, it doesn't even claim to be from Germany, but works. Not the greatest nib I've ever used. I found it fairly dry, so I would make this a little wetter for my personal use, but it does write. Could be better, but it writes. If you're willing to tune your pen a little bit, you can make this write perfectly, I'm sure. This one happens to have a converter, but the pen comes with two standard international short cartridges, so you have to supply your own converter. But then it's standard international. The barrel they've made nicely because it doesn't taper down on the inside uh, to a great extent so you can easily fit in normal sized converters. That's why I want to use this one with a little metal ring there. Uh, it's, it's not super fat but it fits easily, no problems. And it doesn't rattle around, something I always appreciate because some low end pens have a lot of rattle and then some expensive ones do too but just so you know. Okay, so that's that. But then at the end you have this, these facets which kind of taper out and then they just end up right there. This is something you also see in some Caran d'Ache pens and I have to admit when I saw this my first thought was Caran d'Ache, but it's not Caran d'Ache. They also have a lot of faceted slim pens. The nice thing of course about that tapering out and the lack of facets <coughs> pardon me, is that the pen posts and it posts securely. This really will not come off can be used in hand-to-hand -hand combat, should you desire to do so. so. I think this is a pretty neat design. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? I like the shape. I like the looks. It's an inexpensive pen, but it doesn't look cheap. And that's very nice. The facets really give it a little bit of a distinguished look. Now, make no mistake, I'm sure that if you carry this, not in a pouch, but in a pocket, this is going to scuff and ding and dent. 
but that's kind of part of the attraction. With these types of pens, hey, it's called Dude. I think it's supposed to be a tough pen. And let it scratch, let it be. That kind of adds to the, the, the well, let's call it manly charm. I like that. Fairly thin, but I found it comfortable to hold. It's not too thin for me, and I do have fairly large hands, trademark. So that works well. If you want to post it, that works fine too. Yes, it becomes a bit long, but it's not super heavy. So that's nice too. They come in a couple of colors. So if you don't like this, let's call it chrome, silver color, there are other colors that you can pick from if you want something a little bit more cheery. If I were to pick, my choice would be this. I like that simple metallic sleek look. So that's great. Other things that I like, 2450. I saw them at Jet Pants for $24.50, so under $25, and you get a metal pen, not plastic. I'm sure that barrel, I assume that barrel is plastic, it's a little hard to, to tell. There is a metal liner, I think it's plastic. But the barrel, the cap, are metal. I think that's neat. So I like that section, I like the price, I like a lot about it. Things I don't like so much about it, well, the cap can be a little bit sharp, but you know what? Don't do this all day and you should be fine. Um, when it comes to the actual ridges, this is actually pretty nicely polished. It's a little sharp up there, but because of that odd section shape, it, it works. And I don't touch anything sharp when I write with it. And that's the nice thing about having that hourglass shape, because if I put my finger back there, I definitely feel sharpness, but here I don't. So I like that. The cap spins a little bit, but I have seen pens that are a lot more loose. And I like it when this is nice and tight, because that spinning kind of drives me insane a little bit, but it's nice, especially because you have a faceted pen, so of course it's cool when the facets line up, or if you're a rebel, if they don't line up, you can do that too. But then of course the cap has to stay in place. The only slightly more major criticism I would <coughs> sorry I would utter here is the nib is dry and I have I would like to say that's an anomaly but I've experienced that with other hotel pens I put in Pelican Royal Blue a slightly dry ink so I may have exacerbated the problem a bit but I've noticed this with other hotel pens in the past too the nibs those really important nibs they use are dry of course with a brass shim a little bit of pressure you can definitely fix that yourself, but for people who are new to the hobby, who, who are not really ready to immediately take brass shims to their new pens, that could be an issue. So it is something to be prepared for. Your pen may well be on the dry side of things. On the other hand, at $25, you're kind of buying something that you can experiment with. And if you really mess it up, $25 down the drain. Could be cheaper, but it could be a lot worse. So there you have it. Thank you for sending me this pen. I appreciate it, and I'm sure that people will appreciate this because I know Oto is a popular brand. High resolution pictures on the pen will be on the website, sbrebrown.com, as well as measurements, high resolution pics, everything, it's all there. We're going to do a writing sample. That's coming up next. I hope this was useful, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Surf's up, dude. The Auto Dude, with uh, I don't know some type of generic fine medium nib. It's it's not really marked, and the ink is Pelican Royal Blue, Königsblau. See, there's a little bit of a skip due to that dryness, but it's not terrible. And again, something you can easily fix. Okay, a bit of fast writing. Here, especially, you see that the, the, the nib really starts to skip. Now, I don't think anyone will, will write that quickly, but it could be a bit wetter for me personally. Of course, it's also a dryish ink, but even so, it probably could be a little wetter. Line variation, definitely some. 
not a flex nib, not a semi-flex nib, but you can definitely squeeze out some nice line variation. So that's kind of neat for people who like that. Reverse writing works well, works comfortably without becoming super scratchy. So that's kind of nice too. Definitely makes it a finer and drier writing experience, but it writes. So there you have it. A kind thank you to my friend who sent this. I hope this was useful so far. That's all there's to it. I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye.